Hopefully all is well with you and yours. It has been a beautiful day outside, sun shining. It's been rather warm recently and I am planning on going hiking. So if I do, I will take uh, some video for you and show that to you next Wednesday. Same time, same place as always. In the meantime, I am trying to purify myself, practicing what I preach. I don't just tell you to purify, I tell myself to purify as well. I have been trying to do more mono-fruiting, mono-fruit fasting or dieting, whatever you want to call it, uh, but only eating apples. I've eaten so many apples, it is unbelievable. <laughs> Uh, but I know that ultimately when I put the right fuel into this beautiful body that God created, our creator created the best self-healing machine on the face of the earth. If we put the right fuel in, the body will work at peak performance. You will feel the best. You will look the best. You will age slower and live longer. So those are all things that I want to accomplish. I am wearing one of my new dresses. Unfortunately, this is a small and there is a lot of extra fabric that I am not a fan of. I don't need all of this. Hopefully it'll shrink in the washer or dryer and I look forward to the golden age where I can make my own clothes that are actually custom made for me. I could technically start now, but that <laughs> seems like a lot of work to do. So I have other more important issues to take care of. My next project is actually working on filling another box to go into the ground to get buried with food in it. Last week, I was talking about waiting for a package from Harmony House. Woohoo! They came! So, these are beef ish textured veggie protein bits, and you add water to them. They have a beef ish flavoring to them, and you can make sloppy joes, uh, bolognese, a bunch of different things with this to keep my family happy during the coming times of famine. I also got chickenish bits as well. I think that everything that Harmony House uh, sells is vegan. They sell um, freeze dried fruit and vegetables, but they are really expensive. Like, let me just get an example here. Do, 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 do. They're not even showing the Oh, I missed on the first page. So like 20 pounds of blueberries. <laughs> 25 25 po pounds. Ugh. 25 pounds of blueberries is 999.95. Whoa. That is ridiculous. I can't imagine paying that much. I mean, 25 pounds would be would go quite a ways, but wow, $1000 on blueberries. That's crazy. If I had more money, I would invest more food and supplies for the coming famine. I just read some articles today going on my Facebook feed that Bill Gates owns like a really large amount of U.S. farmland. They have been over time shutting down, you know, the 
neighborhood farms and taking over with Monsanto, taking over food production completely. When I'm talking about food, I'm talking about growing corn and plants, not animals. That's evil. But they have been taking over this industry so that when this time comes, they can completely control the sources of food. There are laws written on the books that they can take over farms, that they can take people's stockpiles, that they can force their will upon us in times of chaos. So that is what is coming. That is what I am preparing for. Last week I mentioned um, some of the other things besides these uh, textured veggie proteins, whatever they're called, uh, like pasta and sauce, rice, couscous, um, spices, canned vegetables and fruits, different non-perishable items that can be put under the ground for when this time of worldwide famine comes. What they can find, they can take. And I know that it sounds heroic to make a stand for your family and your food, uh, but that's ultimately, they would love to come and individually pick us off in our own homes and take us out one by one or family by family, rather than us actually coming together and standing together as one on Mount Shasta and showing them that we are not going to be silenced. We are going to create the world that we want, that souls can flourish in, that those who lead humanity are not deceivers, that they are actually pro-human. Looking out into the world and seeing all of the evil and degeneracy, it can make you non-human, but if you realize that humans are being programmed by non-human entities that want to turn them into clowns and want to make them the worst versions of themselves possible, you can step back and say, okay, well, it's actually not humans that's a problem because you can have a perfect human baby and raise them perfectly and not have any issues like the other group that we're looking at, the degenerate scumbags that are ruling our world, that make it to the top, that the powers that be want you and me to be. If we actually take accountability for our actions and have a drive within us to make us the best versions of ourselves possible, if those of us who have that come and stand together, we can truly make a difference and create a better world that we can enjoy, that future generations can enjoy. It doesn't matter if we are BFFs, it doesn't matter if you don't like me, if you care about creating a better world for humans, for your own children, then ultimately we are on the same team. And on the other team is the deceivers, the flesh puppets of Satan that have been preying on humanity for thousands of years. The way that you can almost always recognize these entities is the fact that they are pretending to be the opposite sex than what they truly are. If you haven't seen my Transvestigation 101 video yet, you definitely should. I show you what a real girl's hips look like and how it differs to the inverted deceiving models and A-list celebrities that you have been looking at your whole lives. I go through all of these various topics from head to toe, pointing out different biomarkers. Uh, the hips are the golden standard for sex discrimination. The hips are the biggest uh, difference between male and female. God created our female hips to flare out, to have room for a baby someday in there, whereas God created male hips to be very straight and narrow, up and down. Uh, I show you some of the different 
tricks that they use to pass, how they, you know, put fat in their sides to create more female looking hips. But ultimately, at the end of the day, how you can determine if these are male or female is by looking at their hips. My hips don't lie. I am a female. And I am actually proud that I have more, you know, athletic, what people would say is a masculine build. I'm happy that I have a deeper voice. If I had a voice like this, I would irritate myself. Okay, and no one's going to follow someone into war that has that kind of voice that's just a frail, dainty little girl. So I'm happy to be, you know, well, I'm almost six feet tall and I have an athletic build. So I am happy for that, okay? And I wouldn't want it any other way or it would be another way. We manifest our own reality, the outward appearance, the outward is a reflection of the inward and my soul is well a goddess of love and war okay and i need to have a meat suit if you will a flesh appearance for the job that my soul came here to do and ultimately i am here to fight kill and die for what i believe in creating a better world if you go into battle for something that you love, for something that you actually believe in, that's when you will win every fight. You can't lose even if you die fighting for what you believe in, for the things that you love, for a better future. That is something that any soul can be proud of. You may not have made good choices up until the end, then you woke up and you decided that you were going to become a better version of yourself and you stand in battle and you do what is right in the last minutes of your life, you can be proud of that. You can't be proud of being a coward though. Once people stop consuming fluoride, if you get off fluoride for two to three months, you will notice the difference in yourself. You will become smarter. You will become more spiritually connected to your true self. They want to keep us docile and keep us as useful idiot slaves, so they poison us in many different manners. And now that the awakening is happening it's been happening for years now they are doing many things to try to keep it under control keep us under control and keep their train on track to their new world order rather than us standing up and knocking that train off its tracks and bringing us into a better future a golden age of peace prosperity and the protection of the innocents that world is worth living for. It's worth fighting for. It's ultimately worth dying for. Together we can create a world that puts this world to shame where we and our future generations can live freely and enjoy life, not have to worry about a nine to five, not have to be poisoned, not have to be under a tyrannical government that wants to continue taking more and more freedoms away from us. That's not to say that in the golden age it's a free-for-all. There are rules to make sure that the golden age can continue happening and that the peace, prosperity, and protection of the innocents can be preserved going and beating up animals during the golden age will not be tolerated when we see people doing things that we know in our soul is wrong we have to stop it i talked last week about even non-vegans can connect with this idea of someone standing over there kicking their dog are you going to say something or are you just going to mind your own business and keep your social distance and don't do anything about it 
well, hopefully you would have the courage enough, would not be apathetic, but would actually go in and say, what are you doing and defend that innocent animal that's getting abused? Protection of the innocent is my my main drive. If they are not protected, if our children are not protected, that is problematic. Most mothers want to make sure that their children are protected and have the things that they need and are in an environment that will be positive for them, that will ultimately get them to the best place that they can be. Whether parents, you know, many parents think different things, but most parents, you know, they say they want to go to school and send their kids to college so that they can be doctors because they want they want their children to have a stable future. They don't want their children to have to suffer to make ends meet or anything like that. Parents in general want what's best for their children. There are some broken parents, but we're not going to get into that. This is a call out to parents who are not broken, who do want what is best for their children, and who know that we together can stand against these forces of darkness and create that better world for our children, for their children, and their children's children. We want this world to become something that we can truly be proud of. And someday your child might say to you, Mom, Dad, what did you do to stop this madness going on? And I don't know about you, but I would want to be able to say that I fought it tooth and nail and did every single thing that I could to create a better world for you. For you to come and be a part of. For you to be protected and have the things that you need. And that is what the golden age is all about. So if you are one of those parents who wants what's best for your children. If you aren't a parent yet. If you don't ever want to be a parent. But you just want you to have a good life. Then together we stand. Those of you who are coming out to Mount Shasta. June 24th. We will see what the night has in store. Of course, I will be bringing some of my delicious vegan dishes to share with everyone, and we'll have a campfire and obviously bring instruments if you want. Uh, but the night is not all fun and games. It will also be a battlefield to make sure that the mountain is not being disrespected, that the flesh of the innocent is not being burned, being served, being consumed on the holy mountain. There are more of us than them, and together, those of us who stand in righteousness for the truth, for what is right, we will stand together and we will take back control of Mother Earth. We will create a golden age once more of peace, prosperity, and the protection of innocence. Calling is coming, grab your guns, stack cash funds, fathers teach your sons. When politicians talk, assume they're lying, and living on your knees, what's worse than lying? Calling is coming, grab your guns, stack cash funds, teach your sons. When politicians talk, assume they're lying, and living on your knees, what's worse than dying? Just like this, the work seven rounds for the needs to be